in our last class we considered the problem of eigen values and eigen vectors how we can evaluate the eigen values and eigen vectors of square matrices in this class we are going to consider some certain properties of eigen values and eigen vectors okay first of this property if lambda equal to alpha plus i beta is an eigen value of a real matrix a means the uh, entries of a are all real numbers then its conjugate alpha minus i beta is also an eigen value of a and if k is the eigen vector corresponding to lambda then k conjugate should be the eigen vector corresponding to lambda conjugate as an example just consider this 2 by 2 square matrix if you consider its eigen values to consider the eigen values consider the characteristic equation determined a minus lambda equal to 0 if you consider this characteristic equation by expanding this equation we get lambda square minus 10 lambda plus 29 equal to 0 if we factorize this using quadratic formula we can obtain lambda equal to minus 10 plus or minus root of b square minus 4 ac means uh, 100 minus 4 into 29 divided by 2 so 4 into 29 okay so this one here 100 minus 429 is less than 0 so its roots are com uh, imaginary or complex roots so we can obtain like this lambda equal to uh, 5 plus 2i and another one is 5 minus 2i so the property says that if 5 plus 2i is an eigenvalue of a real matrix then 5 minus 2i is also an eigenvalue of the same matrix okay and by considering the equation we can prove that the eigenvector corresponding to lambda equal to 5 plus 2i is 1 1 minus 2i similarly if we consider the eigenvector corresponding to 5 minus 2i we can see that 1 1 plus 2i is the eigenvector can be taken as the eigenvector corresponding to 5 minus 2i that means if k is the eigenvector corresponding to lambda equal to alpha plus i beta then k conjugate can be considered as the eigenvector corresponding to lambda conjugate the next two properties that is the first property and the next two properties we consider the product of the eigenvalues of a matrix product of eigenvalues product of eigenvalues of a matrix is equal to determinant of that matrix this one we can easily verify we can easily verify using this example here what is the determinant of this matrix 24 plus 5 equal to 29 what will be the product of its eigenvalues these two are the eigenvalues of this matrix if we consider its product 5 plus 2i into 5 minus 2i product of the complex numbers so this is equal to a minus a plus i into b into a minus i into b is a square plus b square so 25 plus 4 equal to 29 so we can verify these two uh, if we consider another example this example 9 1 1 1 9 1 1 1 9 we all know its eigenvalues which we can obtain by considering the characteristic equation we can see that its eigenvalues are 8 8 and 11 this one we proved in the last class okay so if we consider the determinant of this matrix if a is this matrix what will be its determinant 9 into 81 minus 1 minus 1 into 9 minus 1 plus 1 into 1 minus 9 okay so 9 into 80 720 minus 8 
minus 8. So this is equal to what? 720 minus 8 minus 8 is 704. Now what will be the product of these eigenvalues? 8 into 8 into 11. 8 into 8, 64 into 11. 64, 64, 704. So the product of eigenvalues, in all cases we can verify that the product of eigenvalues is the determinant of that matrix okay so by evaluating the eigenvalues of a matrix we can easily verify that a matrix is singular or non singular because if lambda equal to 0 is an eigenvalue of a matrix then we can say that the product of the eigenvalues gives determinant a equal to 0 or the matrix A is a singular matrix okay once again if lambda equal to 0 is an eigenvalue of a square matrix we can say that such a matrix is singular matrix this is possible only when lambda equal to 0 or if a matrix is a singular matrix then lambda equal to 0 should be uh, or lambda equal to 0 should be an eigenvalue of such a matrix in other words if all the eigenvalues are non-zero then we can say that such a matrix is non-singular here the matrix a and if both these matrix are, matrices are non-singular because lambda equal to zero is not an eigenvalue now consider another property which says that if a is a non-singular matrix and lambda is an eigenvalue of a with the corresponding eigenvector k then the property says that 1 by lambda is an eigenvalue of a inverse with the same eigenvector k once again if lambda is an eigenvalue of a square matrix a with the corresponding eigenvector k then 1 by lambda is an eigenvalue of a inverse with the corresponding eigenvector k this we can consider in another form also if lambda is an eigenvalue of any lambda is an eigenvalue of any square matrix a with the corresponding eigenvector k then we can say that lambda square is an eigenvalue of a square with the corresponding eigenvector k or Continuing this way, we can say that lambda raised to m is an eigenvalue of a raised to m with the corresponding eigenvector k. So, if we have the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a matrix A, then using that eigenvalues and eigenvectors, it is possible to determine the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the powers of that matrix and the inverse of that matrix also. If we consider the same example, 9, 1, 1. 191119 its eigenvalues are 8 8 and 11 the eigenvector corresponding to lambda equal to 11 we obtain that 111 so we can say that 1 by 11 is an eigenvalue of a inverse 1 by 11 is an eigenvalue of a inverse with the corresponding eigenvector 111 also, one of the eigenvector corresponding to lambda equal to 8, we proved that minus 1, 1, 0. So, we can say that lambda equal to 1 by 8 is an eigenvector of a, eigenvalue of A inverse with the corresponding eigenvector minus 1, 1, 0. So, if we have the eigenvalues of A, Without evaluating or without calculating the inverse of that matrix, we can evaluate the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of A inverse. Now, another property. Suppose A is a triangular matrix. We have uh, mainly two types of triangular matrix matrices. Upper triangular matrices and lower triangular matrices. Suppose A is a triangular matrix, then eigenvalues of a are its diagonal elements for example consider the matrix 4 minus 1 0 0 
टू वन जीरो जीरो माइनस सेवन इट इज एन अपर ट्रायंगुलर मैट्रिक्स बाय द प्रॉपर्टी वी कैन से दैट द एगन वैल्यूज ऑफ दिस मैट्रिक्स दिस मैट्रिक्स इज द डायंगल एलिमेंट्स ऑफ दिस मैट्रिक्स एंड वी कैन से दैट द एगन वैल्यूज आर फोर टू एंड माइनस सेवन Similarly, if we consider a lower triangular matrix, it is a lower triangular matrix. Okay, its eigenvalues are also its diagonal elements. Means, what are the eigenvalues? Minus one, zero, minus two will be the eigenvalues of this matrix. Also, by extending this result, we can easily conclude that if A is a diagonal matrix, A zero 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 B zero 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 C, it's a diagonal matrix. Its eigenvalues should be its diagonal elements. Means eigenvalues of a diagonal matrix are all its eigenvalues. Ele diagonal elements means eigenvalues of this matrix should be A B C. So, if we consider A as The unit matrix of order n. What will be its eigenvalues? By considering this, we can say that all the eigenvalues of the unit matrix are one of multiplicity n. The eigenvalues of the unit matrix of order n is one with the multiplicity n. So these are some of the properties of eigenvalues and eigenvectors. And by using these properties, it is easy. to uh, it is easy to calculate the or it is easy to evaluate the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of certain matrices thank you